Hey guys, what's up? I miss you guys so much, but I've been really, really busy with my birthday, prom, and then graduation coming right around the corner. So I've been really busy and haven't really had much time to talk and converse with you lovies. Um, I have another mini collective haul. And yeah, let's get started. I went to Perfume Mania. And um, they have, they're have they having a sale up until Father's Day, which is buy one, get the next one 50% off. So, of course, I've been hearing so much about Can Can by Paris Hilton that I had to get it. I got a mini one. I don't, because I have so much perfumes. I just like to collect them. I don't ever finish them, but I want to finish them. See, it's a little feather on the bottom. And this is Paris Hilton. I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it does smell sweet it's so sweet and citrusy all at the same time it smells like cotton candy orange and grapefruit maybe a hint of pear this one's really good I think I got one for ten dollars and the other one for fifty 14 and then I got Curious by Britney Spears. Let me show you the box. Curious, curious, you guys. Curious perfume mania. But I bought this, I didn't go to the go. Oh, of course, I bought it. I bought it at the store, I didn't go online. This is a more sophisticated smell. It kind of smells like the original Juicy Couture. Of course, I never sprayed it out because I'm not going anywhere. But, like, from the nozzle, this smells like the original Juicy Couture. So, if you want a cheaper alternative, curious. I hit up my beauty supply store, of course. Because I wanted to get some body oils. Some body oils. The first one is Sex on the Beach. And you like you play like Sarita, why you talking about sex? You young. I'm eighteen. So I'm Lika. So I could talk about S E X. Hmm. This one kinda has the kitty shampoo smell, like lick me all over that body oil, but it smells a little different. It smells really good. It smells fruity. The dulce Dolce, Dolce, and Gabbana type. This one is an imitation of Dolce and Gabbana. This one smells real, real good. Like a light minty menthol. Sweet, citrusy kind of fragrance. I don't know, I'm bad at describing things, but this smells good. And all these body oils are a dollar, so check your local beauty supplies for y'all. Don't sleep on them. And plus, oils last longer in your skin than you do toilet. This is a little citrusy, like oranges and grapefruits. So that smells really real good. And these were a dollar, a dollar, dollar, dollar. Um, uh, my little, oh, let me. Uh, so tangled. How does it look like that? That's why. Let's see this, you guys. This is so freaking cute. Like, you cannot even lie. Like, this shit. I mean, stuff is so cute. Look at all the pearls and and shells and beads and things like that. Shells. Where do I get shells from? Beads. And this was only a dollar, and it came with earrings. Like, drop pearl-like earrings, but they're ugly. I don't like them. So, I'll give them to somebody who wears small earrings. Uh, I do wear small earrings, but I like stud small earrings, even though I don't have any on. I don't like small earrings that drop. I feel they're pointless, especially if you have a big face like mine. Um, another thing. I got, I just had my prom, like I told you, and we got some beads, we got some beads. Uh, I got two makeup palettes. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video. No, I don't think I did. But this is what my sister got me for my birthday. My baby sister. Ooh, I think she got this from. You see my other side? Yeah. She got this from uh, Forever 21. And yeah, it's like a 
champagne, baby pink, dusty gray purple, frosty purple, gray, and then black. Even though it looks green in the camera. And it came with two eyeshadow applicator brushes. This one I got from the beauty supply store for three dollars. No, two fifty. Look at those pretty colors. Look at those pretty colors. And they're really pigmented actually. Um I don't know which color should I choose. Y'all know I love purple. I'm gonna choose the purple. See how pretty and purple that is? Pretty and purple. And the green. Well, it looks blue, but it's green. I picked up this one. Even though it looks blue on my hand. And it looks green in person. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that. Barney colors, purple and green. Uh, I'll put them on my finger. Ooh, they come out really pretty. And I only touch them, like barely touch them. They're shimmering pretty. Uh, so don't sleep. And this is called the Santi Color Whoop, Intrigue. Yeah. I don't know. Eyeshadow 32 palette. Yes, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Not for me being silly. Uh, and, oh, no. My EOS ball. This is in. This smells so good. This is in Summer Fruit. And I love it. I really, really love it. Like, I really, really love it. Like, really, really love it. It smells good. It tastes good. I wish, like, I like thick lip glosses and chopsticks and that last, like, really, really long. Like, it keeps your lips soft for really, really long, but the thickness doesn't last really, really long, which is upsetting to me. Y'all need to work on that EOS. But other than that, it's really cute. It's around. It's around. And you just open it, twist it off. And just uh, let it go. My only thing is, don't, ladies, 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 don't do, don't put this on around perverted boys. Let me tell y'all why. This looks like a male genitalia. And if you do like, ooh, mm, mm, this, this feels so good, tastes so good, smells so good. They're going to be perfect to think something up. So you don't want that. Don't put this around, perverted boys. Unless you like that kind of attention. <laughs> and last but not least, another Zane book. I finally got another Zane book. Go Zane! Um, this one is called Total Eclipse of the Heart. And I'm on page 70 at this moment in time. And it's really a good book so far. I finished the hot box. My friend is borrowing it. So as soon as she returns that, I'll do a review for that. And yeah. And when I'm done, if you guys want, I'll do a review for this. Let me give y'all the side the side over here what this says over here it says Brooke Alexander a waitress who has self-esteem issues regarding her lackluster uh, existence and her fluctuating weight is in love with Patrick Starling one of the most prominent attorneys in um West, West Washington DC on his good days Patrick is the man in every woman's dreams one of his bad day on his bad days, Patrick's behavior is demeaning and he is very angry at the world. Damon Johnson, who's been married to Carly for four years, is one of the last good men. Compassionate and honest, he worships the ground his wife walks on, but Carly treats Damon like a trophy husband, allowing him allowing her friends to salivate over him and disrespect their happy home. Damon has dreams beyond his six figure corporate job. And Carly oh my god, I'm almost done. In time, um, and Carly treats Damon like a treasure. And Damon has dreams beyond a six-figure corporate job, and Carly views his life aspirations as a joke. Her selfish nature makes Damon wonder if he made the right decision when he asks for a hand in marriage. When he asks for a hand in marriage, when a tragic a tragic event 
causes broken demons' lives to intersect. Truths unfold as they begin to reflect on their own relationships. In a proactive tale of love, the heartbreak Zane explores that happens when you cater to your emotional well-being and discover the meaning of unconditional love, dot, 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 or rather experience a total eclipse of the heart. Okay, guys, I'm running out of time. Love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya. Mm. Uh, nails uh, are in peach daiquiri by Essie. See that pretty orange is red. Uh, yeah, y'all see my Barbie ring and my two finger ring. Okay, I'm running out of time. Love you, love you, love you. Talk to y'all later. Comment, rate, subscribe. Deuces.